So, you want the best Modern Warfare 2 settings. You want the best FPS. You want to be able to have a smooth games with it. No dev errors, no anything like that. Being able to get that enemy on the other side here. Well, today, ladies and gentlemen, I have the settings for you. So, we have stress tested all of these settings here just to give you guys the best of the best. So, let's get started here. So, we're going to hop on a gaming PC here. And basically, we're going to go through all of these settings one by one so i'm gonna go to click the toolbar click graphics and then what we're gonna do is click on display monitor make sure that's your main monitor display adapter this should be your graphics card so i have nvidia 3080 that should be your graphics card there now refresh rate that should match whatever refresh rate you have on your monitor here we're also going to go through the secret nvidia control panel settings and and the color settings stay tuned for that guys but display resolution that should match your resolution of course of your monitor now this is where it gets into the nitty gritty right here guys so i'm going to need you to stick with me here so vsync gameplay this has to be off vsync adds delay you don't want any of that delay in your game you want to have the fastest lowest delayed game possible so you can get see that enemy before they see you here uh vsync menus you want to turn that off custom frame rate you want this on custom and this is why you ever got a, a lot of dev errors or your gpu is overheating or anything like that well what you're gonna do is click on custom and you're gonna put it on whatever your monitor refresher is minus 240 and then you will put it on 60 and then 30 here and that should work perfectly fine and keep your gpu cool during the main menu one reason why a lot of people have pc issues is because they have their custom frame rate on unlimited and they're not able their gpu is not able to catch a break you got to give your gpu a break sometimes here then what you're going to do is make sure your display gamma is on 2.2 which is fine and make sure your high definition <laughs> high definition range is off and then you're going to apply settings now we're going to go into quality here okay so what you're going to do in quality is basically you want to have your render resolution at 100 which matches your re monitor render resolution right you want to have dlss off you want to have image scaling off you want to have fsr off you want to have fidelity cast on and you're going to set this to what you like which is personal preference a lot of professional gamers put it through 50 to 75 here so this is personal preference i would play around with this if you like it uh now anti-aliasing you want this on smma smaa to t2x not the filmic strength unless you really like that uh this takes away from your uh performance a little bit so you want this on the lowest one nearby details i like to have it on low you can have that on high if you want to but for we're trying to get the most fps possible you know what i mean so i like to have that on low texture resolution okay this is a big one now let me explain the texture resolution real quick because a lot of people don't understand this the higher you go for texture resolution is the better your game will look however you are trading something off for that it is called 0.1 percent low fps so what does that mean cornell so your fps you have an average fps and then you have fps dips the higher you go for texture resolution or any of these settings, the higher or the lower your FPS dips are. So not only does your average FPS goes down, but when you're in a gunfight and stuff and you're trying to see an enemy first, that puts you at a disadvantage the higher it is. So this is why a lot of professional players keep this on very low because it doesn't make that much of a difference when you look at the game unless you really like or have a crazy graphics card that you want to just boost all your settings to high so usually professional players that we work with we all set them to very low so they can have they could see enemies faster than the guys that are on high uh texture resolution so that's one thing i'm very nitpicky about uh texture and a fi uh filter anatropic this could be on high that doesn't make a big difference in your 0.1 percent low fps uh particle quality this could be on lower high this is personal preference here um bullet impact sprays you can leave that on shadow shader quality this can be low uh tessellation this can be off on demand texture streaming this can be off streaming quality this can be low if you want the most fps or it can be set to normal doesn't matter here um so this is 
normal means that you will be able to see a long a farther range low means that you will be able to see a shorter range but higher fps so it's personal preference with this one usually people keep it on normal uh sh shadow map quality so a lot of people a lot of guys won't tell you this but i'm going to give you guys the tea i'm going to give you guys the sauce in it so shadow map resolution so anytime you think of shadows just know shadows are very gpu and cpu intensive so remember when i was talking about those fps dips if you want to minimize your fps dips you want a shadow map resolution at the lowest point which is very low so that will keep your game running consistently without any hiccups here shadow quality you want this on low as well cache spot shadow and cache sun shadow you want this on on this will boost your fps significantly guys uh particle lighting you want that on low or this really doesn't matter. You can put it on ultra. It doesn't make that much of a difference, but I just like to see the enemy. If you like seeing the enemy before they see you, you want most of this stuff on low, okay? Uh, it makes a big difference, guys. Uh, ambient occlusion, you want this on off. SSR, you want this on off. NVIDIA reflex low latency. Guys, do not make this mistake here. Trust me. You want NVIDIA reflex low latency on just on you do not want on plus boost we've tested it this gives you a plus 10 fps boost just having it on on if you switch it to boost this will minus your fps by 10 if you're on 1440p so that means on is the best here depth of field you want this off motion blur all motion blurs you want off film grain i don't really like this if you do you can put this on personal preference uh, but I would put this on zero here. Then I would click apply settings. Now for view, this is a secret one. For those PC gamers out there, you guys have an advantage. The higher your field of view, which is really weird, the more FPS that you get. Yes, I said that. It sounds very weird, but that's how it is here. So make sure that your field of view is the highest that you would like it on. And that should be good to go here. Now, you might think that's it, but that is just the scratch of it that is just a service here now let me give you guys the secret sauce settings here so for those who stayed this far into the video congratulations just make sure you like and subscribe share this to a friend if they need it however let me give you guys the secret sauce here so you're gonna click on the battle net here you're gonna click on settings you're gonna go to on game launch you're gonna click exit battle net completely then you're gonna click when clicking windows x you're gonna click exit battle net completely and you're gonna click done here that's a little boost hack right there now what you're gonna do is you are going to go to documents you're gonna go to call of duty players beta options in this options tab here what you're gonna do is this you are going to make sure that video memory scale you can put this all up to 1.2 however i'm gonna give you guys the secret settings here i'm gonna give you guys the secret settings so basically for video memory scale this can go all the way up to 1.2 but just note that this will increase the chances of you dev varying uh so just make sure you could set this as high as you like but just make sure if you're dev varying lower this a little bit the highest video memory scale so highest video memory scale is going to be 1.2 so you can put this up to 1.2 and you should be good to go however i like to keep it around 0.9 because i don't like scanner repair or dev errors a lot now this is the trick right here render work count so i'm going to give ryzen's a guide and i'm going to give intel's a guide so this is based on your cpu so based on your cpu here boom so ryzen's the minimum render work count is four right so you're gonna have to know that first fact the second fact is you have to put it at half of your cores, right? So on Intel, it should be six. Four to six is usually the best for Intel CPUs here. Um, so those are the rules here. Now, let me give you an example. So let's say you have a 5950X. This is a 16 core CPU, right? So this will have an eight uh, core work count. Now let's say you have a 5600X. This is a six core CPU. 
this will have a render word count of four because the minimum is four. So as long as you follow these guides, that should be perfectly fine. And Intel's, your render word count could be around four to six here. I generally just keep it at six so the game could have all the cores that it needs. Uh, but four works perfectly fine too here. Now, what you're gonna do, once you change those, you're going to control S or you could click file then save and that should be perfectly fine here. Now, if you want those settings to change completely, you're gonna have to right click on the options. You're gonna click on properties. You're gonna click on read only. You're gonna click on apply. Then you're gonna click on okay. And that will make it stick completely and make it take into effect. Now let's go through some other settings here. You wanna make sure game mode is enabled. You wanna make sure graphics settings is on. Uh, I mean, hardware acceleration, GPU scheduling is on. You wanna check background apps here. You wanna make sure that is off. You want to check the game mode again and you want to go to Xbox Game Bar and you want to make sure that is off as well. And that should be good to go there. If you make those uh, changes, you should get an instant FPS boost. Let's say you have Google Chrome and you like using Chrome. You're going to click on these little three tabs. You're going to click on settings. You're going to click on system and you're going to uncheck continue running background apps when running Google Chrome here. And that should be good as well here. All right, boys. So let me give you guys the best nvidia control panel settings here so let's head over here so basically what we're going to do is we're going to go to threaded optimization we're going to turn this on we're going to go to power management and we're going to turn this to max performance low latency just in case you could turn this on doesn't make that much of a difference and then you're going to hit apply here then what you're going to do is go to change resolution make sure your resolution matches your monitor and make sure your refresh rate is at the highest refresh rate for your monitor here then set up g-sync you're going to want to disable this for the lowest latency possible and then let me give you those crispy nvidia color settings here so what you're going to do is put your brightness at 55 you're going to put your contrast at 55 and then you're going to put your digital vibrance at 70 and that's going to give you the smoothest nicest looking game on the planet here so i hope that helps guys i hope you enjoyed this sense of quality setting guide if you need a pc tune or audio tune to hear enemy footsteps or anything like that to gain an advantage or advantage over your competitors you can just hop into sensequality.com and schedule one there let me know what questions do you guys have or what content do you guys want me to make next and i'll be sure to do that down below you have a wonderful rest of your day and hey enjoy the beta here